Um, because Mr. Art does have a couple other characters. The set he played against Kira Flax, he actually played Snake. Um, and, and he has some other characters in his pocket. I know he has an, uh, an Inkling as well. Mm -hmm. But we are going to get the Krom versus Ness game. Number one starting off between these two. This is Edmund and Vance on the mic. Let's get it. We're starting off on Unova. This has got to be a button check. Or they're gentlemen to this to the stage because it's say, not yeah. legal in our in our rule set. So. <laughs> this is not. It's legal. Actually, this somewhere. stage this stage is legal it's, in the evil rule set. It's legal. It's legal somewhere. Yeah, it is legal somewhere. It, it is legal, legal in the evil rule set uh, for this year's Evo. There what? are a few more. There are a few more legal. They're playing the Evo rule set. Yeah, they are. They yeah. are. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny that you reminded me of that because I should probably like uh, try to prepare for the evil rules. So. I've been telling people. I'm like, not kidding. I don't care, dude. I really don't care. <laughs> the, the, only thing to you have to, the only thing you have to like worry about is probably like, oh, I didn't ban Lila this time. Oh yeah. man. I I wouldn't even mind playing on Lila this time around as long as I don't play on Yoshi's Island Brawl. <laughs> Same. And here Yo we go. Yo Yoshi's Island Brawl. Finally, real game number one, Mr. R. Fo, this is Krom versus Ness, and we got Edmund and Vance on the mic. Let's get it. The one thing that I do like that he's going for is uh, because they do follow up into Ooh. fault conversions like that. What the hell? 51%? That's what it really hurts, man. That They say Lucina's sword hits like a truck like Krom. No, 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 no. Yeah, that, that, thing hits, hit, that thing really hurts, Dude, man. And you can see Fo is hurting right now. He's yet to find an answer. Uh, it is kind of hard because the disjoints the range that the sorties have to offer against Ness, it's a it's it's something that you know Ness has to deal in a really meticulous way. It's not very easy. His short little limbs can't really contest with most of the range of the swords. Yeah, and so far Fo looking to bring it back here, yes. sets up the PK Thunder oh. because he knows Palm has to go for that little recovery and he can stuff it out. Another attempt here, but you do get super armor when you go for the startup of the upbeat. Yeah, and he already brought it back, and I like Mr. R. He went for the immediate getup attack off the ledge, knowing that the invincibility would beat out the down smash attempt from uh, counter. Oh, right I like it, and oh, unfortunately, though, no. that's not going to be a sweet spot, and he tried to take him away. I can't believe he lived. That's crazy. Air dodge to the ledge, really smart there from Mr. R. The back throw should seal it out, though. Foe taking that first stock. Let's see how. He starts to build up this extra credit. He goes for a back throw. What a mix-up. All right, up throw. All right, no, no down throw uh, combos just yet. Phone just trying to go for all the mix-ups in the world. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh I, no. and, uh, I like oh. that opportunity. Nice. All right, jab into the jump, full hop fair. That that works. At that percent, I guess you have enough hit stun that that's going to connect. <laughs> Mr. R has to go for the up but unfortunately he's a little... Yeah. Like, that's the one thing Krom has. He has really good aerial drift, but like from that point of the stage, you probably should have forward air to move yourself a little bit closer to the ledge and then go for up -beat. Yeah, I mean, like... You know, on the f uh, other hand, I, we were talking about how the swords do really well against Krom, or against uh, Ness, but in this case, like, we have a sword fighter who has considerably a like subpar recovery or yeah. not it's it's really good but it is very exploitable nez being a character that can actually go out there in edge guard as soon as he hits him out of a jump he's in a world of hurt so this yeah. is like you can start to see that that's like, kind of what's happening here not only not only just go out there he can just actually just opt to stay on the stage and go roll for pk thunder which we've kind of been seeing focal oh, for wow. oh no okay. and he swung at that wrong opportunity. I mean, for Mr. R, this has kind of come full circle. He used to, he was one of the best. Uh, he was one of the best Marts back in Brawl, and for him to come to a Fire Emblem character in terms of main choice, I respect it. But unfortunately, like, it's better to stay on the stage and then wait to see how Fo is going to choose his recovery options because he's always going to go for Psy stall, which he loves to do, or he might go for PK Thunder stall as well. So you have to kind of understand what's his flow here and then read that and adapt to it. Unfortunately though, like it, it is tempting to just go off the stage and then hit him with forward air, and then he's out of your way. Yet again, no change of scenery here. Pokemon Stadium two for game number two, and from Mr. R opening up with that uh, double-edged dance, he gets that back air on the cross-up. All right, up B's out of shield. That's already 58% unanswered. Looking similar to that first game, but we saw how Fo was able to turn that around and get a two-stop the very end. Yeah. Yo, what a trap with the with the up smash. You have to watch out for the landing too, because that PK Thunder, if you don't have a consistent hitbox to beat it out, it will catch you and it can potentially lead to a lot of juggles. Dude, he's breaking ankles out here. All right, Fo. Good, good poke. Going for the down tilt. That's usually a little bit more plus on shield than it would be. So you don't have to worry about like, oh, you know, he's gonna go for an out of shield option because it's so low on shield throw. 
I do like the fact that he's going for these pokes. Unfortunately, Forward Air is not going to clip this nest. All right, both players in danger of losing their stock right about now. Mr. R controlling the center stage, uh, giving Foe room to ba ba get back in. That backer's not going to be enough to secure the stock, but that Forward Air will be. Yeah. Foe really moving around the stage. Oh. Good use of Forward Tilt. I mean, it will cut the ledge like that, especially because the whole sword is so, uh, strong within. Oh my god, Foe really tried to end it. A second stock from Mr. I. I don't know if that would have killed, but it definitely would have sent a message to him. Yo, okay. I didn't even know he could do that. He just PK flashed off stage and then double jump, air dodge to the ledge. That's, you know. Yeah, Ness's aerial drift is really, really, really good. See, look at look at that. Come on. He, look, he was like. And he crossed him up on the shield with the forward air, dude. He's playing with fire. And he's playing so smooth, so safe, so evasive. I feel like Ramen is kind of struggling just to get something off a of foe. And it can be really difficult, especially when Luke Ness is living at 170. Uh, at this point, up throw will actually not take care of it simply because, wow. like, a lot of characters lost their up their throw comp, yeah. I'm sorry, their throw kills. And up throw won't kill at least until, like, 190 plus. Yeah, I mean, he lived up until 180 right there. He, had, he actually also had perfect DI, so you gotta give him that as well. The setup with the PK Thunder. Yeah, and he managed to get super armor on the startup there, so he was able to survive. You usually want to stall that a little bit so you can wait till the end. Ah, uh, see, so still gets still gets the armor there. What is this? Is this this is still pools? Yeah. So this, this is still is pools. best of three. Yeah, this is still best of three. Yeah, there's, cool. I'm telling you, this tournament is so stacked that a lot of players are just gonna play no matter what. There's nothing you can do, man. There's yeah, this is li this could be a PGR event for all we know with so much like high ta level talent here. Honestly, it has enough entrance that it's probably like. It's own super it's major. It's probably like a C tier, bro. It's yeah. <laughs> it's almost a C tier. It actually no, it is. It actually it's almost a, yeah. is a C tier because we have like 250 some entrance tonight. I think C tier is like 300 plus yeah. or something, something and, like that. And what makes up more for the, it being a C tier is the fact that like we have so much PR, so much PGR from Smash 4 towns out here because yeah. PGR is not released yet. All right, so Mr. R really trying to find his way back into this game. A pivot grab from Foe right here. Just applying a ton of pressure by the ledge. I love oh. the reversal. Dude, he wanted that yeah, stock he did, he so did. bad, but Mr. R armoring through with his up special. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. And but he at the was a, apex. Yeah, and that's the thing when I mentioned to you guys earlier. is like it only gets it from the startup. The apex of the actual oh, up beat. They think they're playing a it's best vulnerable. of five. There's it, best it's three. over. It's over, yeah. Damn, you can even see the denial in his face. He's just like, dang. Dang. It hurts, dude. I mean, but I tell you, like, with, a, with, a, with an event this stacked with so much pulls to run, like, yeah. you, ha you this is going to happen. Yeah, absolutely, man. Well, the King of Vegas takes it over uh, the newly crowned Socalian, Mr. R. So, unfortunately, yo, man, Mr. R got sent packing, and hopefully he'll find his run through losers. Now, I'm telling you, man, we got nothing but top heavy talent here at this